you don't have to swing it up and down in the same plane, as I said. In fact, I can't think of anybody that does. There are some that are close. I mean, Kevin Kisner, very nice golf swing. It's not far off up and down in the same plane. Jason okay. Duffner, also the same. But even the great Ben Hogan didn't swing it up and down on the same plane, so don't waste your time trying to do that. I want you to set up to this golf ball for me, Blair. And I'm going to take this club here, and we're going to say we're going to try and have you hit a relatively straight shot. Okay. So I'm going to take my, my four iron. It needs a bit of love. It doesn't come out of the bag very often <laughs> these days. And I'm going to put it just outside your toe line there with the grip end of the club opposite the middle of your feet. Okay. And it's about parallel to your target line. Now, irrespective of how you take that club back, by the time you get the club about parallel to the ground, it needs to be about parallel to that and covering it. You could, like Ryan Moore, you could be very steep. You know, why does Ryan Moore do that? I don't know other than it works very well it for works him. He for probably him. did it the very first day he picked the club up. Yes. Now, so that would be one end of the spectrum. You could be out there. As long as in the downswing, you lay it on this line. The you sweet literally spot right here. As lay as it on this, this line. Position. Now you've got a chance to really get at the golf ball properly. Um, I remember years ago, Raymond Floyd, Nancy Lopez, I mean, LPJ. Nancy Lopez used to take the club back round there. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, really flat. Didn't stop her winning goodness knows how many tournaments. But she didn't come in here. So I think, look, I'm not against people having a nice neutral backswing uh, for the less talented ones of us. That's about parallel to the line there. It might help a lot of people. But what I would say is you don't have to have a perfect backswing. But if you're going to hit good shots, you've got to be on a plane as you're coming into the golf ball. Now, now as a drill... I love that. Just take it up to the top, pump it a little bit, up and down, up and down, up and down. It doesn't matter and how you get there as long as you get here. As long as you, well, um, as long as you're swinging in that direction. I actually, it's, it's a checkpoint. It's a feel. It's a feel of swinging in the right direction. I mean, I, I might say, look, a lot of people do very well with this. Just as many people, I might say, if I come over here and take a couple of alignment rods, just as many people do equally well that I teach by just having a couple of, um, rods down there aiming at the target and having an intent that through the hitting area right, I've done this a lot. you're going to swing through there. So just put the club in there. Okay. Let's get a good direction. I mean, that's really, you know, we use the plane so we can direct the path of the swing. And if you're directing the path of the swing about at the target, you've still got the club face to manage, no question about it. But let's see if we can hit one here. And okay. I, just as I gave options for the posture, I'll take these out of the way because that would probably upset the computer. But just like we had options for the posture in the opening segment of today's show, you've got options for the plane, but you don't have to waste your time trying to make a perfect backswing because a perfect backswing doesn't guarantee a perfect downswing. And the ball doesn't know... The ball doesn't know how you took the club back. The ball only knows how you bring the club down. I think it was a Hogan thing that the club gives the ball its marching orders.